Peter Cadbury was the man behind the plan. Armed with a copy of Who's Who, he knocked on all the influential doors in the West Country to drum up investment and support for his new company. I always remember standing on that bomb site, looking around and thinking, well, is it possible to imagine that we're going to build studios here? The name came from the golf course, Westwood Hare, where I had played quite a lot of golf. Uh, and um, <clears throat> we took the Golden Hind as our, as, as our logo. And we sincerely want to produce programs that you will like. And this is where I'd like your help. We don't know what you want until you tell us. And we want you to tell us what you like and what you don't like. And please don't restrict your advice to what you don't like. Having won the license to broadcast in the Southwest, Peter Cadbury hired a team of technicians and program makers and then promptly boarded a train. We took a train around the whole area, with a studio on it, and people could see themselves on television and so. Uh, and we got the crazy gang to launch it uh, in London, and we went from station to station, and rather like an election year. And we tried to get the message that Westwood was going to be there. 